Hang on, hang on, I'm going. I had way too much fun here. Anyways, uh, welcome to our review of. Ant Man. Yeah. <laughs> we just saw Ant Man. In IMAX 3D. We wanted to see it yesterday, but we never get to see it on open and will rarely. But, um, we still saw it in 3D IMAX, which was awesome. It's always awesome. Um, anyways, um, Ant-Man, what do you want to talk about first? Well, let's first talk about the cast, because, like, everyone did a great job. Paul Rudd, he was awesome, he was funny, and he was just, like, I don't know, he was just really funny, though. He was just really good. He had a lot of great dialogue scenes and joke scenes. Um, what's the girl's name? Uh, Evangeline, Evangeline Lily, Lily, yeah. yeah. She was good, too. Um, Michael Douglas. <laughs> Michael Douglas is awesome. Um, Take it right here. I know how a lot of people want, after seeing this, want to um, see a flashback movie with Michael Douglas playing Hank Pym at first. I'm like, they can't do that. He's, he's too old. And then, uh, well, let's say at the beginning of the movie, you're just like, that's Michael Douglas. It, well, it, it, yeah, I think they, I think they pulled off their one. Yeah, they probably. Um, probably um, anyway, though, so like uh, Paul yeah. Rubb is really good. Paul Rubb is he's awesome. He's likable. He's funny. He's um, he plays you know Scott Lang, who's a good guy, but uh, he gets himself into trouble. He's like a burglar, and he's like breaks into freaking people's houses and steals stuff. Um, and yeah, so Hank Pym sees in him potential. So, they know the plot. Yeah. yeah. He becomes Steve. Yeah. <laughs> it was a good movie, guys. So, yeah. I liked it. I mean, um, the action was amazing. All with the, the IMAX action scenes are great, and yeah, IMAX actually is pretty great with this movie. I mean, first I'm like, should I really see this in IMAX? I mean, it's such a small scale movie, but it I totally like works in IMAX. Scale. All the freaking, um, you know, all the, the big ant scenes when you just yeah. look around and see everything around him. It really works with the IMAX. It looks really good, and the 3D also works well with that. Yeah, the movie I really enjoyed it, and. Uh, I'm just gonna say, like the one problem was the villain because you don't—he doesn't really have much well motivation. Well, he doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't really have much motivation. But as as an actor, he does fine. He, he, he I mean, he kind of just does what he needs to do. But kind of just becomes totally evil for no reason. But I'm just like, okay, yeah, sure. You know, he doesn't but, really have much motivation, but he's not like Malik is bad or anything like that. But um, the movie's the good. yeah, the action scenes are awesome. Just like he's shrinking and growing, and you know, as he's fighting, it looks really cool. The, it ties into the Avengers in a really funny and clever way. Um, I'm not going to spoil that, though, even though the trailer did. It was a TV spot. Mm. Also, um, uh, Michael Pena, who is one of his heist crew members, does a really good job. He was he's funny. Really he was really funny. He was really funny in this movie. It's a lot of... He also he also kicks some ass too. Yeah, yeah. So I heard that he did a lot of improvisation during the movie, which is actually really cool. Cause yeah, there's a lot of scenes like maybe he did improv on that scene, but it was really funny. He's like probably the funniest character in the movie, along with Paul Rudd, of course. Yes. And everybody's just so great and likable. Hank Pym is just awesome. Uh, one thing I'm gonna say is don't believe in like the Lego set crap because. It's not real. It doesn't happen. I'm just gonna say that. I right didn't now. see any Lego sets. Well, there are some Lego sets that's like the final battle. It shows all this weird stuff that didn't happen in the movie. The but Thomas the Train was involved in the final battle. Well, yeah. Thomas um, the Train was indeed involved, and it was hilarious. And we wa when we were watching the credits, you saw that they had to put a copyright thing for Thomas the Train. <laughs> it's funny, yeah. It, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, um, all right, I got an interesting story actually. Uh, my aunt, she lives in. Our aunt. Yeah, she lives in Maui, and basically. Um, she works at a restaurant, and basically, some people uh, that went to the restaurant apparently helped, like, do like special effects on Ant Man, as Luma Pictures. And the guy like hand wrote a note to us, said, "Keep doing what you're doing with your videos and stuff." And it's, it was really cool. I'm like, that's cool. We kind of know a guy. If you want to see some like short films and stuff, you can subscribe to Funny Studios, which I'll put the link in the description. And if Luma Pictures guy is watching this right now. Funny Studios 67 is our main channel for like short films, it's just nerd stuff and movie reviews, things like that. But, um, 
Yeah, th this movie was really awesome. It had a great cast, great humor, action, awesome. All right, I don't want to go over time. I found my own memory, so let's just start. Uh, I mean, it's only been five minutes, but still. <sighs> All right, so I overall, I'm going to give this movie a 4.5 out of 5. I'm going to give it a 4.95 million out of 5. The closest grade to a 5 I could get, but my only problem, like I said, was the villain. He didn't really have too many motives. Kind of just turned evil, but um, other than that, the movie was great, and I definitely recommend seeing it. And stay, because there's two after credit scenes. There's two after credit scenes. And Some people just walked out before they even, the first one even came on. I'm like, really? You, you would have learned by now. Oh, I guess not. Yeah, bye. Mid credits and after. So it's to be new. Yeah, so, uh. Um, yeah, and then some people look during the first after credits scene. I'm like, this is why you use the internet. But hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, sorry I ended abruptly. My phone, like, ran out of memory, so yeah. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. And, uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.